Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. What is going on guys? Akapoka here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing some more of the Half Fast 8 series. Today we're going to be going into chapter 5 of the game. And I looked up how long the game is it's about 12 chapters so we're about getting to the halfway point of the game you know it's uh going pretty well uh if you guys don't know i also stream on twitch i stream splatoon i stream the final fantasy series i'm currently on number 13 and i'm thinking about going into persona 4 golden since it's on pc now but yeah if you guys haven't already uh make sure to go follow me there and uh hit that subscribe button here and uh like comment favorite all that good stuff but yeah let's get right into the video 10 hours ago all right so we're getting a little bit closer to where we were at the beginning of the game who the fuck barked whoops mara okay hey mara when is the rs investor meeting again I want to use the conference room this afternoon for a brainstorming session. Let's see, it's in 21 minutes. Wait, is that right? I really need to get ready. You okay? You seem flustered. A little bit of last minute nerves because of the presentation? Yeah, partially, but also, well, this morning at the coffee shop, I bumped into this cute guy and spilled his drink all over him. And I still feel really bad about it. Oh wait. The first chapter was 12 hours ago, so this is two hours later. Oh shit! Alright. I still feel real bad about it. Alright, feeling bad about a guy? That's a first. You at least bought him another drink, right? Uh, that would have been a good idea. Mara? I had to come into the office to get ready for the pitch. It would have been, it would have taken like five minutes tops. And who knows, you could have scored his number while you were at it? Sounds like a perfect romantic moment. Well, I can't do anything about it now. It's not like I'll ever see him again. I just need to focus on getting ready for this presentation. This is what really matters. Hasn't you been preparing for weeks now? Don't worry, girl, you got this. More like two months, but thank you. Okay, I'm going to make sure that everything in the conference room is set up. Also, I really need to find my note cards. I can probably go over them, uh, probably go over the pitch one more time before they get here. While you're at it, you might want to do something about Chai. What's going on with Chai? Samuel forgot something from home and he went to get it and left Chai here. She's been barking in the hallway all morning. She's not loud, but she might disrupt, disrupt the presentation. Um, okay, I'll see what I can do. Sorry about that guys, I just noticed I left the uh, game audio muted. Hopefully it's a lot better now. Sorry about that. Hmm, okay, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so we're playing as Mara now. Mara's... Uh, well, what's your thing? Okay. I like to keep my desk organized and organized work environment for an organized mind. Yeah, sure, sure, whatever you say. There they are, my presentation notes. They were staring me in the face the whole time nice i got the notes hello doggo studies have shown that dog friendly offices reduce stress even for people without dogs that's why i let samuel bring her to work problem is i can't have chai barking during the presentation so uh, she's normally very well behaved i wonder why she's barking in the first place uh maybe there's somebody here hi chai do you think you could stay quiet during the presentation bark uh, of course not Okay, you're never this loud when you're when you have your bone. Where is your bone? Oh, <laughs> just a face. Where is your bone, bro? I gotta find your bone, don't I? Uh, what? Why won't it turn on? Good, the extension cord is missing. I'll have to find a new one before I can break in the presentation. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, this is the Nano Volt, the, our company's main product. We're pushing it to investors like Aurora so we can start production. That's why, and that's why this presentation is so important for my company. I can't mess it up. Okay, for sure. Alright, so an extension cord and a bone. They're fake. We used to have life hands at the end of the hub, but we kept getting to water them. Yeah, it sounds like an office. 
Okay, every week of our company, uh, our company puts up a new thing for people to draw things of. There's been oh fuck. This is highly unrealistic. For flipping phone, who even uses flip phones anymore? Uh, well, I mean, they're making some type of a comeback. A lot of people at the office are fans of hot sauce, so we have a quite a collection. Let's see what we got stocked. Oh, only one bottle left, and it's just that one brown that tastes like vinegar. Why is this stuff? No, why is this the stuff that's always in restaurants anyway? I wish we could buy something that packs more of a punch. Indeed, indeed. Uh, another. Jade has been mixing tea into the coffee beans recently, saying she was inspired by the tea festival last week. It's not too bad. Someone has left out, uh, has left out what it looks like to be an energy drink. Tea time. Never heard of it. I guess one of my employees is into this stuff. I prefer coffee, though. Hmm. References. People. References. Sam, you're out, aren't you? Jay said he had to go home to get something. Okay. Please, it's Samuel, not Sam. <laughs> well, when you buy your own door plaque, you can have a full name. Uh, can I please have the extension cord, girl? It's really hot in here. Oh, uh, yeah, my office is in Todd's share of ventilation system. He turned up the thermostat a million degrees today because he's sick. The thermostat is in his office, so I can't do anything about it. Hopefully, I don't die of heat exhaustion. How'd he get sick? This is the worst timing. I don't know. Anyway, I got this fan from Lars, but the cord is so short I had to use the extension cord from my novelty lamp just to plug it in. Okay. Sounds like a hassle. Oh, it's worth it. You think it's hot now? Should have felt it before I got the fan. Nearly unlivable. Hmm, there has to be a better solution, Jade. Uh Ask about Chai's phone. Do you know where Chai's phone is? I saw Samuel playing with Chai this morning. I bet he left it in his office on accident. Fucking hell. Uh what about the Fiki Festival? Didn't you go to that uh, tea fair a week ago? How was it? Ah, terrible. I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, so my sister wrote me to going there for something related for her work. She forced me to push this new product she's promoting out to people that were there. Some kind of tea-based energy drink. I tried one, and it's nasty. Anyway, it turns out she didn't even have a license to be passing out samples. We ended up getting kicked out, and it was super embarrassing. Did you make some sales at least? Not when I was there. I told her I'm done helping with her guerrilla marketing tactics though. So now she's going around trying to recruit some poor schmuck to replace me. Well, at least you won't need to help anymore. Yep, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time before she drags me back into it. I should get back to preparing for the pitch. Yeah, thanks for listening to me run and let me know if there's anything I can help with. Uh, chit chat. How's it going, good? Oh, you know, I'm definitely sending you good vibes for this presentation right now. Yeah, this is a pretty important one. You know what would take your mind off of it? What? Filling out that dating profile I made for you. Jade, I have more important things I need to be focusing on. And nothing is more important than love, Mara. I can't take my mind off the presentation right now. I need to be laser focused to make sure the pitch goes well. The future of our company depends on it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, let me know if you need anything. You know where to find me. Uh, give me the extension cord. Do you think I can borrow that power cord? For one of the pr uh, what? the one for the protector is missing. Sorry, Mara, but I need this one running. Without it, I'm pretty sure I'll pass out from heat stroke. It's for the presentation, Jay. This could make or break our company. I know, but it isn't the presentation scheduled to be like an hour or something. I can't last that long. Then leave your office. Go take a walk or something, Jade. Come on. How about this? If you can give us Todd to turn down the thermostat, I will happily let you use my power cord. Okay. I still have some time before the presentation starts. I'll see what I can do. Okay. 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 Is that my boy? Is, is that my boy? That's my boy. Nice. Okay. Yo, it's one of these things again. Leaving these things everywhere. Samuel keeps leaving them everywhere. What the fuck? Okay, wait. Here, let me. Todd, you motherfucker. <laughs> let me. Damn, bro, why are you so sick? 
Good morning, Todd. Are you feeling all right? Hey, Mara. Yeah, it's just the cold. Is that why it's so warm in here? Yeah, it's this is the only way to keep my temperature up. Otherwise, I'd be freezing. Sounds like cold, all right? Uh, chit chat. Why did you come in today if you were so sick? I have to report that sniff. Uh, I have a report that <laughs> is due by the end of the week. Remember? I already took off a few days this month. I just can't afford to put off any longer. It's an important report. I don't want to let everyone down. I know I'm not one to talk, but don't overwork yourself. Your health is important too. Just don't wear yourself out. Thanks, Mara. That means a lot coming from someone who, who's as hardworking as you. I still don't want to let you guys down though. Well, if you're so worried about it, maybe you can work on this report from home tomorrow. Yeah, I might do that. Then I can stay in bed where it's warm. And Oscar can make me some soup. He makes the best soup for colds. That sounds nice. Thanks for the advice, Mara. Cool. Uh, chat some more. Will you be alright, Todd? Yeah, I'll be fine. Though I hope I'll be fine by tonight. Why, is something happening tonight? You know the game studio next door? They're having a public get-together at the bar tonight. Oscar and I really want to go meet them. Serenity Forge? I've met their crew. It should be fun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to let Oscar down. Make sure to focus on your health then. We should have some tea in the break room. Thanks, Mara. Uh, some more chit chat. Okay. Uh, don't forget your health is important, Todd. Thanks, Mara. Uh, Todd, have you seen Chai's one? No, I bet it's in some of the office though. I will explain why Chai is so bothered. Do you think you could turn out the thermostat a tad? It's really warm in Jade's office. You know, your offices share the same ventilation system. I really don't think I should. I need to keep my temperature up. I'm already feeling pretty chilly as it is. Can you, I don't know, use a blanket or something? If I had one, but I don't. I'll see if I can find you something to keep warm with. Okay. Damn, dude. It's literally like fucking shaking in his room. Oh, perfect timing, Mara. Mr. Shaw is here. My boy Jaren. Oh yes, of course. Hello, you must be Rendon. Oh shit! She's his first surprise. Hello. Uh. Uh. What? <laughs> Sorry. Where are my manners? I'm our CEO, uh, CEO of Nanovol. It's an absolute pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, cool. I'm Jaren. Nice to meet you too. Jaren. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy. I'm here to meet up with a friend. Does your friend work here? No, I just know she'll be here today. So I was hoping I could find her here. So you're not from Aurorus. Or Aurus. Nope, I don't even know what that is. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. But we're expecting an important guest today. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay, no problem. Sorry about that. I'll just wait outside. Damn, my boy, Jaren. Lars, my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We are an established business now, Lars. We have sensitive information here. We can't just have some random guy off the street snooping around in our office. I know. I'm sorry, Mara. It was an honest mistake. He really did look like a villain to me. It's alright. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just stressed. I don't really I don't feel ready for the presentation yet. Anyway, if it was really written I'd be a pretty mess. Well, good thing it wasn't actually him then. Let me know if I can help with the presentation. I feel bad about speaking to you like that. Thanks, Lars. Okay. Finna find a blanket. Finna find a blanket. What the fuck is this? Another office. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. Lars. <laughs> Do you. Sorry, who the fuck? Good morning, Andy. Hey, boss. Ready for the big day? Almost. There's still a couple things in. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm pretty actually nervous about this. I was just outside trying to take my mind off things. I hope the guy had changed the tire, so mission accomplished, I guess. Uh, sh f fuck it. I'll ask to borrow a snuggly. You wouldn't mind if I borrowed that snuggly? It's for Todd. He's sick today. Isn't he dripping in snot right now in his office? I can hear him coughing his lugs out all the way from upstairs. Come on, Andy. Our company needs this. What does this have to do with our company? I don't know where the extension cord went for our projector, and Jade is really hot, and Todd needs a blanket. Just trust me on this, okay? 
Okay, fine. Just make sure he washes it after using it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go wait in the lobby, uh, lobby for the RS people to arrive. Okay, I'll probably be here in any minute now. Thank you, Andy. All right. You, put this on. Really? Thank you. Almost like being in the bed. So can you turn it off? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's not a sauna in there anymore. Should be cool in here too. No problem. Yeah, me too. So what can I help you with? Borrow the extension cord. Now that you don't need the fan, can I borrow the power cord now? Of course. It's yours now. Palabra. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see if that works. Perfect. Now that I know that it works, I'll just leave it off until the presentation starts. Still need to get to try to stop barking. Awesome. Chai. Stop fucking barking. Lars. <laughs> well, is there something you needed more? As for a spare key, do you think uh, I had to leave now and his office is locked? Oh, sure. Give me one second. Here you go. Thanks, Lars. Thank you. Boom. Boom. There we go. Now I can look for Chai's bone. Chai's bone. Let's go. Doggo. Here. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Excellent. I think everything is ready. As prepared as it can be. Let's go check with uh, whether or his team is ready. For sure. Okay. Cool. Andy. Can I talk to you still? I think. Oh, fuck. If you think about it, the conflict between the Galactic Conglomerate and the Force Rebels in Space Knights 3 is really just an allegory for the Cold War. Hey, Mara, is everything set up for the presentation? Yes, I was just coming to fetch you. Rinden, this is Mara, Mara, our founder. She will be giving the presentation. Mara, Rinden is the VP of Oris. <gasps> A la fucking madre. <laughs> yes, of course. It's great to finally meet you, Miss. Chant, chant, I can't. Uh, Miss Mara. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, yes, likewise. This this is the key guy I bumped into this morning at the coffee shop. Perhaps he doesn't recognize me. He didn't say anything. Perhaps I should just keep my mouth shut. Or perhaps he's simply keeping things professional. I don't want to jeopardize a huge opportunity for my company just because I was rude at a coffee shop. Just calm down, Mara. It'll be fine. Just keep calm and carry on. Whew. Were you guys who spilled the coffee drink goods? <laughs> God damn it, Mara. Were you the guy I spilled a drink on at the coffee shop this morning? Curses, Mara. That's great. So you guys already know each other. <laughs> yeah, I think so. As soon as I saw you, I... I'm sorry. So sorry. I should have bought you a drink. I just ran away. I must have caused you a lot of trouble. Don't worry about it. It happens. It wasn't that big of a deal. Huh. <laughs> must be fate or something. Am I right, guys? Um. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So the interview you did with Digital Futuristics caught our attention. Seems like Nalavo is something exciting, uh, is onto some exciting discoveries. Pretty impressive, or very impressive. Thank you, our team works hard and I'm very proud of them. We've been working on our own for so long, it's nice to hear in an outside perspective. Nice. Holy shit, it's Anna. <laughs> oh, this is the research company she's doing nice okay cool cool so everything everybody's coming together now like the entire story is coming together this is nice all right sorry for being late i ran into uh a friend outside we haven't seen each other for a while that's no problem we haven't been waiting for long well now that everyone is here how about we get this started please follow me this way into the conference room awesome okay uh, why are you standing there? Of all people, this guy had to be the VP of Oris. That certainly was not my best introduction. But it also wasn't the worst. It wasn't a train wreck. Or was it? I don't know. Did I make a fool of myself in front of our potential business partners right off the bat? I really shouldn't have brought up the coffee shop, or shop incident. I should have just kept my mouth shut and about anything that's not business. 
I can't ruin this presentation over something stupid. I worked too hard for this. Okay, just calm down, Mara. It'll be fine. Clear your thoughts. Think of the times when you did those amazing presentations years ago. Just go in there and be professional. You can do this. You got this, girl. Fuck it up. I'm starting to see your point, but as someone new to the franchise as of a few weeks ago, I still think Volume VI could have ended a lot better. Volume 6? At least we can all agree that Volume 5 was the worst one. Oh, definitely. No doubt. If you're done, I think we're ready to start this presentation. Sounds good. Let's get started. Nice. I would first like to thank the representative team from ours for coming down to our office today. We are certainly happy to have you here. So let's get down to business. As we all know, the market for renewable energy is expanding. As such, Aorus has been searching for a new unique energy source to invest in. Our researchers have been developing just such a technology over the last several years that we are confident will pique Aorus's interest. We are excited today to be able to give you an exclusive demonstration of our latest breakthrough, the Nanobolt. Whoa. Nanovolt is, is the next generation of electrical generators. Nanovolt is efficient, condensed, easy to use, and safe for our environment. It can come in any size, ranging from a large multi-purpose generator as you see there, to as small as a pocket-sized version. Nice. Nanovolt can be used to power or charge anything. Anything and everything from a phone to a laptop to a coffee maker now the technology is still in the testing phase Currently the largest hurdle is actually regulating and limiting the amount of energy produced by the nanovolt Too much energy sounds like the best problem we could have Certainly, but not being able to regulate it causes power overloads in the devices which can potentially damage electronics that draw power from it we have so far largely circumvented the overload problem by adding coroutines, coroutines that allow the nanovolt to self-regulate its energy output. This has been very successful. This all sounds fantastic. I'm sure we're all excited to get the next demonstration. Of course. All right. This coffee maker is an example of the type of common household appliance that can be powered by the nanovolt, all you need to do is plug it in. Notice how the nanovolt generator here is operating independently with no external support. Once the coroutines are set up, all you need to do is plug in the appliance to the nanovolt hub, just as such. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Whoa, dude, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. The coffee wasn't actually hot. Here. Let me get some paper towels. Wait, so not only did it make the coffee machine explode, but it didn't even heat up the coffee? It's a little warm. We've tested this exact coffee maker dozens of times and this has never happened. There must be a problem with the co-routines. Yeah, you don't say. It's still in the testing phase. I'm sure this was just a fluke. Sorry about that. Here you go. Thank you. Please, if you would let me just... I can find another appliance, and I assure you this is not accurate representation of Nanovolt's capabilities. It's fine, Miss Mara. I don't think that will be necessary. I think we should get our VP cleaned up first. Oris has had their eye on Nanovolt for quite some time. The technology is fascinating. Despite this demonstration, the Nanovolt has already exhibited a lot of potential. We're glad you think so. Well, I assume that's the end of the presentation then? Right, um, hi. Yes, that's all. Well, you're, while you are here, would you like to take a look at our development uh, facilities? Yes, of course, that sounds awesome. Great, cool. J just the face. <laughs> just the face of like, pure, almost anger, almost disappointment. I think I'm going to be sick. That was the worst meeting I've ever been in. So, how did it go? Jade, can you shut? <laughs> Terrible. Worse than I could have imagined, actually. Wait, what? What happened? I thought I overheard them saying they liked it. I'm sure they're just trying to be nice. 
For some reason, the code routines didn't work, and the coffee maker exploded all over their, vi their vice president. I thought you tested that coffee maker already, like a dozen times. It gets worse. You know Rindon, the vice president of ours? He's the guy I spilled coffee, the drink, on this morning. No way. I know. I brought it up, but that was so awkward. He must hate me right now. Ugh. There's no way they're investing in us now. And it's all my fault. If only there was some way I could see Rindon again. Well, I did overhear Kate uh, telling Andy that Rindon has a blind date tonight at Spark. That's perfect. You want to crash his date? I can bring him the pocket size version and have a second chance at pitching the nanovolt to Oris. These large investment firms are slow. I can make more FaceTime with them before they make a decision on us. Mara, are you sure about this? Trust me, Jade. This is our best bet. I'm going to start rehearsing this pitch immediately. I know I can do it. I just need to really show him how the nanovolt works. He works. Uh, we worked so hard on this. I'm not going to let a small thing like this stop us. Yeah, I guess the silver lining here is that I can finally say I set you up on a date. Sort of. And with quite a look or two. It's not like that. I'm doing it for the business. Yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe take a breather. Go make a spreadsheet or something. I know you love to make spreadsheets. I'm not that addicted to work. You are right though. That does sound relaxing. Alright, I'll be in my office. Nice. <laughs> Four years ago, Jesus Christ, we really digging in now. But that's chapter six, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, it was a pretty nice chapter. I liked it. Everything's sorting, sort of melding together, so it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, and uh, I can't wait to see what other crazy things they throw our way. But yeah, if you guys liked today's episode, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what your favorite part of the chapter was, and uh, if you played the game already or if you're looking to buy the game, uh, leave some questions down below, uh, like what are your thoughts on it, and uh, I'll be sure to respond to every comment down below. And uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, I'll see you later.